I chose the Sheriff app uh, because it was something that we had seen at a Maryland Sheriff's conference. And I felt it had a lot of features that our office could really use. And it was able to be customized for the needs that we had at the office instead of just a generic template app. Well, when we chose the sheriffsapp.com, we initially did so because we felt we were having a disconnect with the sheriff's office and the community that we serve. That they don't know us, it's hard to like us, it's hard to trust us, it's hard to respect us. So our, our focus continues to be um, public relations, and this has been an amazing public relations tool to bridge the gap between community and the sheriff's office. So we have it in there where you can actually call a deputy directly on his or her agency cell phone just by going to the app, or you can get in contact with a deputy quicker, which allows us to provide better prompt professional and courteous service. We changed the way we did license to carry, and we are utilizing now the Sheriff app for people to apply for their license to carry firearms right on the app. I would say around two to 400 a week, and the process has been amazing. Before we had the mobile app, uh, our lobby officer would be on the phone scheduling appointments. We used to get complaints uh, because people couldn't get through. Now with the mobile app and that access, uh, we've been able to actually give other duties to our lobby officer in the correctional facility because they doesn't spend his entire day scheduling visitation appointments. The more that people can look online to see who is in our jail, for example, and put money into their commissary account remotely, access when visitation is instead of having to call. And the more that people can accurately assess information before they get here, uh, that's going to be a huge benefit, not only in workload, but also in perception of the efficiency of this agency. And it has brought us closer together in that units are supplying our PIO with the information so that he can put that on our app uh, and get it out to our community. So it's as an organization it has brought us together and our information flow is much more efficient than it was prior to. If it's not easy, people aren't going to use it. If it's too difficult, your certain age brackets are gonna not use it, it's too technical. So we think it's a very user-friendly database for almost anybody. I was uh, really impressed with the ease of use. Uh, it's used not only by our office internally, by state's attorneys, defense attorneys. They have told me that they uh, really appreciate being able to go on and see real-time information on who's in custody and who's been arrested the night before. We didn't use any tax dollars. What we used is called a records improvement fund, money that's generated from fees and costs on filing deeds. That money is set aside and is used by the row officers to do records improvement. And this fit the bill to the T. So we utilized uh, the CARES Act uh, because getting information during COVID was difficult. Um, so the CARES Act, along with the commissary account, uh, helped us pay for the Sheriff app. There's been revenue increases utilizing the Sheriff app. Not only does the Sheriff app increase the ability for us to raise revenues on the app side in inmate services, it also increases in our revenues on the communication side through our phone provider and our tablet information provider. The deputies that are out searching for wanted fugitives they use the app probably more than anybody else on staff. Uh, they can look at the picture, the description of the person, once they get a tip and go out and apprehend them. The app has helped us communicate internally with the staff in that we have set up working groups. So the app allows us the ability to have a private and secure communication only within those groups as established by administration so that we can more efficiently respond to events in a secure manner. Uh, the ability to tell folks who are worried about, is this guy going to get out? Is he going to come see me? Well, you can go on the app, you can register for a VINE notification, and you'll be notified if their custody status changes in any way. As they're thinking about moving into a certain area in the county, they can draw a circle basically through the app and see what sex offenders live near the house they're looking at. Our tip submissions have been uh, amazing. I think that uh, we've seen a significant increase in the tips on warrants, drug activity. We've actually received information um, on a shooting that occurred, and they in turn uh, were able to solve a, a shooting case, which, you know, were, you know, those are the toughest ones to solve when there's no witnesses or uncooperative witnesses. 
The app gives them that ability to remain anonymous and they can still attach some critical information like a photograph. They can attach uh, some specific details about the person or the crime or event. Uh, we've had several cases where we've pushed information out on the app and we had folks coming forward with information within the hour and we were able to solve both of them quickly. On numerous occasions, we have gotten people into custody within hours of submitting them through the app. We had it in, in our head the way we wanted it to look, and uh, through some back and forth conversation, it was set up very easily. The staff at the Sheriff app have been phenomenal in taking any suggestion we have and working it so that it meets our needs. One of the things we look at with vendors is their customer service, and we get great customer service in response from the sheriffapp.com. But I can tell our agency and any other agency that is thinking about it, it's gonna be one of the best tools, public relations, one of the best instruments you can have to make your life, your citizen life, that much easier. We chose the sheriffapp.com. We chose the sheriffapp.com.